In this video, we will see how to combine multiple documents as parts into one master document. Each individual file is called a subdocument, while the main document containing all the individual files is called the master document. After linking the documents, if you open the master document, you will see all contents from the linked files within the master. Creating master subdocuments is mainly useful when multiple writers are responsible for different parts of one long document. In order to create a master subdocument, the sample that we have used is a handbook of tips on using Microsoft Word. To try out this feature, you can visit our website and download the sample file. Check the description for the link to the blog post. Consider a scenario where a team of writers have to create a handbook of tips on using Microsoft Word. The writers are each working on one tip as separate documents. The Microsoft Word tips document is to be the master document where the remaining tips are to be added. To add separate documents as parts of a single document, open the Microsoft Word tips document. On the ribbon, on the View tab, in the Views group, click the Outline option. In the Outlining tab, in the Outline Tools group, from the Show Levels list, select Level 1. This displays only the Level 1 headings in the document, and hides the content. On the ribbon, on the Outlining tab, in the Master Document group, click the Show Document command. New options are displayed in the Master Document group. For example, to add a particular document before an existing heading, click before the respective heading title. In the Outlining tab, in the Master Document group, click Insert. The Insert Subdocument dialog box is displayed. Browse and select the required document. The content of the selected document is added in the Master Document. You can identify a subdocument by the border and the small file icon at the start of the subdocument heading. To add a particular document after an existing heading, place the cursor at the end of the respective heading title and press Enter. Continue the process, same as for inserting a document. Close the outline view. You can see that the contents of the subdocument are reflected in the master document. Also, update the table of contents. The headings are updated in the TOC. Save the Microsoft Word tips document. It is not necessary to place the master and sub documents in the same folder, but remember that once the documents are linked, you cannot change the file location. To edit the sub document separately, open the respective sub document independently. While the subdocument is open independently, the content of the respective document is locked for editing in the master document. The subdocument can now be edited as an independent document. The changes will be reflected in the content as well as the TOC of the master document. With this, it is now easier to collate multiple documents into one document with minimal efforts. Thank you for watching this video.